Hi everyone, I'm Bonita from Pennies to Dollars and today I thought we would talk about stockpiling food. I see so many videos popping up on YouTube and a lot of them to me sound like scare tactics. They show bare shelves. They say things like the apocalypse. They talk about only nine days of food left. Um, they talk about buy these foods now before the shelves are empty and that lockdowns are coming again. So as we look at some of these scare tactic videos, I just want us to remember that we are in charge of our own decisions. Don't let some of these influence you into spending money where maybe you can't afford to do that right now. For instance, if we have a good stockpile of food, if we have food that's adequate for our family size, for our storage size, we don't need to resort to having whole rooms full of food or whole garages set up with shelves to look like they're a grocery store. We ran a grocery store we, through the pandemic and doing that, we realized that a lot of the shortages that we were seeing were actually coming from people overbuying, people stockpiling, people buying more than they needed and hoarding it because they were frightened. We had people come in the store one day and they said, hey, I have an entire deep freeze full of meat. I have it packed to the hilt, but I'm going to go ahead and buy more because I have a little bit of room it, because we don't know if we can get it later. So they just grabbed a whole bunch anyway. So things like this can influence our buying habits. And if we're using a credit card or using money that should be assigned to a debt or should be assigned to another bill that we have, sometimes stockpiling that food just makes it a little bit harder on ourselves. Now I shared with you here in a couple of videos that we have started using down our stockpile. And what is a stockpile actually for? I think we need to start back at the basics of why we have a stockpile, why we started a stockpile, and what's the importance of a stockpile so that we don't let it get out of hand. We need to look at what really constitutes an emergency in our house. A lot of people will stockpile because they say it's for an emergency. Well, is it for an apocalypse? Is it for a lockdown? Is it because of a potential job loss? Is it in case you have a crisis and you can't get out of the house for maybe two or three weeks? Or is inflation enough to be considered a crisis in your house? I believe if we shop specials, know our prices, shop clearance, freeze food, don't waste food, that we will be okay. That's where my stockpile has came from. It has not come from buying things by the case that I'm worried there's going to be a shortage of. It has come from me carefully choosing things that are on sale, that I have room to store, that I know we will eat in a manageable amount of time that I pick up. So that's where my entire stockpile has came from. I haven't spent any crazy prices on anything and I haven't hoarded things just because I've heard that there's some scare that we might run out of it. Maybe you're looking at whether or not the grid is going to go down. Some people worry about things like that. But if the grid goes down, we also need a way to keep our food cold or to be able to cook things that don't require electricity. So all of those things go into our deciding what we're going to store, how much we're going to store, how we're going to cook it, when we're going to use it, and whether or not we are going to use it. 
because all of those things have to be rotated. They have to be stored. They need to be used from time to time. And just getting more and more and more as some sort of a food security mechanism doesn't necessarily help us in a disaster because we certainly can't load up all of that and take it with us if we have to evacuate in a hurry. So those are some of the things that I think about when I'm thinking about food storage. If there's a fire, we can't get that stuff out and then all of that is lost. So I want to have a manageable amount of my budget stored. I want to have a manageable amount of food stored that we're going to be able to rotate through and that we're going to be able to use. So when do you use your stockpile? And this is a question for all of you. Do you do it when you're short on money? Do you do it when there's inflation and the prices are just more than you can afford to pay? Right now, inflation has just skyrocketed. It's continued to skyrocket. And this is part of the reasons that people have decided to stockpile so much food. But again, if we shop smart and know our prices, there's really no need to buy an overabundance compared to our household size or our family size. Are we planning on using it in case we need to catch up on a bill? Are we planning on using it so that we can use that money to get out of a debt instead of grocery shop regularly. What are we going to do if we decide to move? That's a lot of stuff to take with us. That's a lot of stuff to move. And from someone that owned a grocery store before, that stuff is heavy. It is back breaking. And it doesn't take very many cans in a crate or in a box to be extremely heavy. So all of these things need to be considered for your circumstances as we look at how much food we want to stockpile. For us, we decided to start using down what we had. And much of that became apparent when I did a really thorough inventory of my freezer, when I started keeping a working write-off board of what was in my freezer, and when I started rotating things and seeing some things we just weren't moving through. So I started finding recipes to use some of that. So I started using that wipe off board and just putting what I had up there just in the freezer showed me immediately that I needed to stop buying. I had plenty. I had plenty for a long time and I counted everything and put it up there. My husband and I are both in the habit now of marking off something when we get it out of the freezer. And that may sound a little bit tedious, but it has saved us so much time and so much money and so much time shopping by just knowing what we have in that freezer. We have a small chest freezer and my husband and I had actually dug everything out of it twice just so we could find things, know what we had. But we, when we wrote it down on paper, we didn't keep up with what we were taking out and putting in. So this chalkboard has just been perfect because we can keep up with what we take out, what we put in, and I can look at a glance at any time and know how much I have. I don't have to think, gee, do I have bacon? Maybe I better grab another one or two. I can look up there immediately and see I already have three bacon. I don't need any more. So it's much easier to be able to make a list of what I need. And then when I'm out and about, I can look for specials or clearances on those things that I know I'm running low on and pick them up at a good price to refurnish my stock. The highest inflation right now are on things like cereal, bakery items, and then behind that is like non-alcoholic drinks. And we've talked about the price of soda and how it has skyrocketed. We have pretty much stopped buying cereal unless we can catch it at a huge bargain, like $1.99 a box. 
we don't spend more than $2.49 for a box of cereal. Those huge family size boxes can get up to almost $6 a box. And so we just choose to eat other things and we've replaced those high inflation items with other things in our pantry and other things as choices for our breakfast. My husband will get up every single day faithfully, make himself breakfast before he goes to work, and he makes himself like an egg scramble with either sausage or bacon, cheese, peppers, onions, mushrooms that I buy on clearance, and that keeps him full until middle of the afternoon or evening when he comes home. And that keeps him from buying things when he's out and about because as you know he's gluten free so he doesn't have a lot of options so he fills up his belly before he leaves and takes snacks with him that has saved us a huge amount of money just by using up those things and keeping these things in stock when they're at a good price so i am curious in your household what constitutes an emergency? When do you start using your stockpile? When do you determine that you have stocked enough or you have enough that you don't feel like you need to go shopping this week or even this month? Let me know how you decide how much to keep, how much to spend, and how you keep track of that. I hope to see you in the next video.